Hey, good evening. We just had dinner and uh, we're going to take a little short walk here. Show you where we're at. We're, uh, we're at the last uh, camping spot back here in Meadow Lake Campground. There's a loop right here at the end. And then there's us. And there's a few other campers here. There's still uh, one, two, three spots left, I believe. So if anybody wants to get here, you better get here quick. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to fill up for the weekend. Uh, since people might be driving back here and going around the circle, I put a, a safety sign out. Let make them aware that the pups are here. Um, this is right outside the town of Ennis. I think is how you say it. E-N-N-I-S. Montana. And this lake was formed when they dammed the Madison River. There used to be a whole bunch of meandering... Uh, creeks and uh, waterways. Come on, boys. This way. Hey, hey, come on. Uh, I'm losing them. Come on, boys. Come on. Hey, come. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come. Uh, you might have a visitor coming in to see you there. <laughs> I got two of them, but oh, he's coming around the back. <laughs> That's Berkeley. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I was saying this this lake was formed when they dammed a uh, bunch of small creeks and uh, waterways that wound meandered around through the valley here, and. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of screenshots in of our location here. And interestingly, on one of them, you're going to see right out here under the water, you can see where there's two buildings. So I guess there's a lot of uh, structures that were just left there and they uh, submerged them under the water. So I'll show you those. In this screenshot from Onyx Hunt app, you can see US 287. That's the route we took south from Townsend. It was about a 50 mile drive down to Ennis. And the blue dot is where the campground is there. And in the next one, it's a topographical screenshot you'll see the red dot is the campground and where the river flows down from the north as you go up in that canyon it's uh, BLM land and then where the green is is national forest and here's the campground you can see the 10 uh, campsites along the road but look out into the lake you see kind of right in in the lake there there's two buildings here's a closer shot of that and there's the two buildings that are submerged under the water that's pretty cool huh you can zoom really plainly in this uh in that photo so uh yeah all right so this one this is another uh, screenshot of the campground, and we're at that last campsite where the uh, red dot is, or orange dot, and uh, we're all the way in the back. Okay, back to the video. This is a nice little area, nice little campground. This is run by the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks Service, or, you know, yeah, <laughs> so it's a, a state park, and it's a state campground. You can stay here for free. 
up to seven days. It's got a vault toilet. This is uh, also a fishing uh, access lake and there's uh, trout and um, I'm going to put a link in too down uh, in the description that tells about the lake, about it being formed and uh, you know about fishing. Fishing apparently is pretty good um, in the, uh, if you continue up around this way you go up into a big canyon there where the uh, uh, river comes down and uh, apparently there's pretty good fishing up there so uh, yeah uh, we're still in bear country it says grizzly bears and black bears frequent this area in case uh, that's for uh, monofilament recycling fishing line now these folks all up here, I don't know, maybe they know each other or something. There's uh, a few that are all bunched together there. They were there when we came. There's a handicap site that's uh, got a concrete pad. And each of the sites have a table and a fire ring. Let's walk over here by the lake, boys. Come on. Come on. I read that this lake is fairly shallow and that in the summertime it'll heat up pretty well the water, which uh, limits, I guess, the fish growth. So. And this is, I, I can't remember the figure right now, but it's like 4,000 and some acre lake. And there's houses around it too here. As you see, there's some over there. Right over here amongst all these trees, there's a house in there that's got a big yard. It's really nice there, right on the lake. So yeah, pretty nice, huh? And if I remember, I think part of this is uh, bear tooth, bear tooth, bear trap. No, bear trap. I believe it's the bear bear trap wilderness area up in here. And then on the other side of that is Gallatin National Forest. little windy. I got the external mic on so hopefully it's cutting out a good bit of the uh, wind. So this is not a big area. It's, it's, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like ten, ten sites, camping sites. And uh, I think I'm getting lazy because you know what? I was going to go up that, uh, go up the uh, canyon there because before you get into the wilderness area, you go into BLM land up along the uh, river as it's coming down. And I was going to go up there and, and look for a spot maybe in, on BLM land or even head into the uh, Bear Trap wilderness area. But I pulled in here first to check it out and I think I'm getting lazy, you know. <laughs> I don't want to beat the van up and uh, this was a nice easy drive coming in here. So uh, we're just going to stay here. Hey bud, come on. <laughs> come on. Boys have to go visit everybody. <laughs> Hey, 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 come on, come on, <laughs> especially when you have food, <laughs> they'll be over there. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, 
Hey boys. And there's uh, farmland all around us here up up on the above there. I heard tractors running a little bit earlier. We've got a pretty good uh, AT&T and Verizon signal here, but uh, our T-Mobile's not too good. That might be because uh, because the signal's not that great to start with, but also I think I've like reached my limit of high speed on that. So it probably dropped down to real low speed. <laughs> So yeah, this is going to do. I think we're going to stay here through the uh, through the Labor Day weekend. Just take it easy, relax. What do you say, boys, huh? I think it'll work. <laughs> and there's pretty nice space between uh, the campsites here, too. It's not bad at all. And it's pretty private right back here in the corner. So, uh, you know... Nobody can really see in from driving around the circle here. However, as they drive in the uh, the uh, road here, that's East East Ennis Lake Road or something like that, I think. It's on the map. You'll see it. <laughs> All right. Well, take good care. And we will talk to you later. Hey boys, <laughs> see you later guys. <laughs>